Spider-Man Far From Home. I was really looking forward to this movie. We were looking so forward that we went to a 7 a.m. movie. We weren't playing. We got up at 6 in the morning, went to the movie theater at 7, and <laughs> caught it on IMAX. <laughs> and Movies that like yesterday. that, I got to watch on IMAX. Yeah, it was 3D, fun. I'm not a fan anymore. No, 3D is terrible. It's terrible. I don't, I don't like why. it. It's so well, let me tell now. you, waking up 7 in the morning, 6 in the morning, catching it at 7, watching the IMAX, totally worth it. Yeah, it was. It was For a good totally. movie, it's worth it. Exactly. Yes, yes. So yes. let's get started. It picks up where the last one left off. Actually, it picks up where Endgame left it off. It picks up with Endgame. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, right now, we're going to start with no spoilers. Okay. And then after that, we're going to talk spoilers. So for the first part, no spoilers. Okay. Okay? okay. So what did you think about this movie? I loved it. You loved I it? I loved it. It was a fun movie, first of all. It was so funny. Hilarious. It has so much, like, just just hilarious parts, you yes. know? Yes, yes. The whole cast was funny. The whole cast did the part, yes. of, you know, making the audience laugh. and, and Preach. It, yes. It was so good. Like, it was so good. Good and and you know and I was a little concerned because we're like okay what are they gonna do now how right. is this gonna work out you know after the whole Avengers and of course you know they have to bring it up at the beginning with a little a little bit of sadness but but it, it was still still like good like even yeah. though it was a little sad it was still like I don't know I don't know how to say it but overall the movie was just amazing, amazing. the sceneries the locations. You know, it made you feel like you're traveling with them. Yep. Um, you know, I think it was really good that they did it outside of New York, not mm. the typical Spider-Man, you know, friendly neighborhood, Queens. Mm -hmm. It was very different, and I loved it. I loved it. I got to agree with everything you just said. I think it was a brilliant idea to take him out of New York. It's fresh. When it comes to me and Spider-Man, I'm a little... I'm, even though I love the character. Yeah. I love I mean, the it's character. It's one of my favorite Marvel characters ever. But when it comes to the movies, I'm a little bit spider man out. Just a little bit. You it know has what I'm saying? Been few of them. Because there's been so many Spider-Man yeah. movies that how do you keep it fresh? Right. You know what I'm saying? How do you keep yeah. it entertaining? How do you keep people wanting to go see more Spider-Man? And they did it with this one. Fresh scenery. It starts off in Venice. Then they go to Austria, different countries. Then they went to like Prague. I, I mean yeah, no spoilers. Long, the, yeah, at the end. <laughs> but uh, they went to all these different countries. And uh, a couple of years back, maybe like 10 years back when I was a little bit younger, I took a Euro trip right. and I loved it. I was on a bus, you know, going to all these different countries. And it really brought me back to those yeah. days. And it really captured how it would be to be on a road trip. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they did such a great job with that while also mixing in character moments, very funny moments. Because coming Action. from Endgame, Endgame was the last Marvel movie, right. which was like this big, epic movie with tons of characters. To bring it back down to a smaller scale where you have these really interesting character dynamics, right. you know, the, all these little funny moments. And all the actors really nailed it. The directing, excellent job. Yes. Uh, the also Mysterio, the character right. Mysterio, which mm -hmm. was introduced in, into this movie, right. I thought was very compelling and interesting, and he was a great addition. And I've always been a fan of Mysterio, and I'm so glad they brought him into this movie and that they did Mysterio the right way. Yeah. They, they, they really did him justice. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I've really never seen that character or heard about it, you know, right. until now. But, I, yeah, I mean, he he was a really good character to, you know, put it together with Spider-Man. And yep. like you said, like, it, there has been so many Spider-Mans. But mm -hmm. I feel like this was just so different, you know, because it's after Endgame. And, you know, it kicks off from that and how his relationship with Iron Man was. So everything is, like, revolving on that. And it made it really good. Right. And, you know, it made it, like... Because we're so, I, I don't know, myself, Iron Man was one of my favorite characters. You right. know, he is my favorite character. So, it just made me appreciate the movie more, mm, you know? I agree, I agree. I mean, we don't want to say too much, but this movie was so good, and it made me appreciate how much I feel for Iron Man and Spider Man. Yeah, because even though he's not there, he plays a big part of it, mm -hmm. in a way. His yeah, character, yeah. his presence, right. you know, plays a big part exactly. in the movie. So, I'm giving it the lit approval. Lit. Lit. Are you giving it the lit approval? Oh, yeah. 
Of course. That's the, our highest rating. Of course. The movie was lit. Yes, it was good. It was perfect. I mean, you know, the friends, you know, uh, all of them. Like, right. they're awesome. Like, awesome. it was great. It was awesome. just overall great. The end, so everybody was funny, you know. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, that's the spoiler-free part. Let's talk, let's talk spoilers right now. Okay. Let's talk so, some spoilers. So yes. if you haven't watched the movie, you can stop watching right now. Right now. Okay, so stop. You don't All right. know about the movie. Let's talk spoilers here. Mysterio. <laughs> what a twist. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me but tell you. you know they almost had me. They almost had no, me. I I felt it. You felt I, it coming? I felt the comment. I felt it because I was like, wait a minute. So... Who is it really? Because it's not just the monsters that are bad in, in right. Spider-Man. It's always another character that fights with Spider-Man. You I got know? you. I got you. So I'm like, who is going to be that? And I felt like the way he looked and the way that he just appeared. I don't know And I don't know where. And like the whole thing, I, I was like. Yeah, this is not gonna. This is gonna be weird. It's gonna turn into a weird situation here. Yeah, but you know what it is. I always thought, even in the comics, that he would he was gonna be such a good character to bring on to film that I'm surprised they didn't do it earlier. But I'm glad they waited because they really modernized him mm -hmm. and the way that he's using drones and all this technology. That let's say they would have done this movie 10, 15 years ago, it they kinda, wouldn't, it wouldn't have them. made sense. Right, you know what I'm saying? But the way they use them now in today's era, with all the technology we have now, with drones and everything like that, he really makes sense. Yeah, he did. And the whole story of it also was, it makes sense. You know, right. the, how they twisted and, you know, once he got the glasses, you know, he turned into the fat person. And, yeah. you know, he went back to where he was working with Iron Man and all this stuff. And, you know, the people that help, you know, were like, oh, my God, like, unbelievable, unbelievable. how he did this, you and know. And Jake Gyllenhaal, he did such a great job yeah. from playing, like, you know, this cool guy. He's like this hero from an alternate universe, right. you know, trying to help out Spider-Man. And then when he flips, you're like, oh, my God, he's a crazy person. <laughs> And he Bananas. does it so well. He's a yes. good actor. Yeah, he he's is a, a good very actor. good actor. Did you know that back in the day they considered him for Spider Man? They did? Yeah, when he was oh, younger. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, he was yeah. younger. He was younger. So he's kind of age now. Yeah, he's a little bit older now. Yeah. But yeah, he yeah. fits Mysterio perfectly. And in the beginning of the movie, when he's fighting in Venice, he. I mean, those scenes were so cool. So real. So cool, so realistic, and such a cool character flying around fighting that water elemental monster that I was like, you know what? I kind of like him as a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even though it was like kind of weird to me because I know in the comics he's a bad guy, I was like, maybe he should be a good guy. <laughs> you know? Like, maybe he could you be like what? the new Iron Man type of thing. And you they know? were calling him the I new know. Iron Man type. I know. You know? You know when I knew something was iffy when he went inside the, the fire monster oh yeah and he kind of said goodbye but then he was alive but like was nothing alive. happened yeah and i was like wait i mean yeah. like i was like that's something there that's like, what i knew something was up yeah something was up you know but you know i was thinking maybe he was a good guy because in the comics he's just a master of kind of illusions right but in this movie, the illusions were causing damage. Right. Like, actually destroying, destroying. places. Yeah. So I was like, wait a minute, this is not just illusions. Right. But in the movie, it seems like he just took illusions to another level. Level. I mean, you know? it's incredible what they did with these drones. And it kind of makes you think, put things in perspective, like... This could happen in the with future the drones. with the drones. It's, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's crazy. it could. Drones, like even smaller drones, because the military uses big drones. Right. But smaller drones is could they could be weaponized. Yeah. And that could be really dangerous. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So that's, but let's talk about Spider Man. I mean, he did such a good job. Such a good job. I mean, he just killed it. Killed, killed it. it. I mean, he had like from where he does. I fell for him because he just wanted to take a vacation. He wanted to relax. With his friends with, and fall in love. Right, the girl that know, he loves. With, um, what's her name? Like, MJ. MJ. You know, that's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. He didn't even want to fight, but the yep. poor kid had to fight. And you got Nick Fury following him. <laughs> oh, my God. He's like, are you ghosting me? You're not picking up my calls. <laughs> Let me tell you, Nick Fury... Hilarious. Me up. Like the Hilarious. way that he talked to Spider Man. Hilarious. And when Spider Man was like, 
I can't do that. I'm sorry, I can't do it. And he first like, okay. And then he completely jack, you know, like hijacked the whole trip and everything. Changed his outfit because he didn't want to be seen as a oh Spider-Man. Oh my God. One of my favorite moments though is when they're on the bus and he calls a drone strike on the guy that was yes. trying to hit on MJ. Oh, that was hilarious. Hilarious. Oh my God. There's so many funny moments. Like him and his friend, too. Yes. Oh, I love that chemistry. Oh, my God. It's hilarious. I love how like, the I have friend, a girlfriend now. You know, the friend was talking all this trash on the plane, like single Americans. <laughs> and as soon as they land, he's like, I got a girl now. I've grown up. I'm a man now. <laughs> anyway, so let's wrap this up. It's 10 minutes long. Oh, my God. Like I said, lit. Yeah, this movie's lit. Lit. It really, it really is. It really is. It's awesome. awesome. It's awesome. So go see it. Go check it out. Don't miss out. Go see it on IMAX. We recommend it. It's super, super, super cool. So much fun. So. And the like way it. it ended, I can't wait for the next one. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Are you kidding me? Make sure you stay in oh, all the way to the let end. Let me tell you. It is two or three credits. I don't even know, but Mysterio messed him up. He, put, he left them in a bad situation. Anyway, you yes, know what I'm saying? He's in really New York, bad. chilling with MJ, and then on the screen it pops up. He framed them, trying to say totally. that he let's not, caused let's, all let's the Let's not band. say them so oh, they can go see their God. movie. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Peace out, guys. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you guys later. Bye.